Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me on day 14. Today we are going to do Pumba, and also, major congratulations if you have made it this far. I hope you guys have been getting on okay with the challenge, and if you have any questions, don't forget to drop them in the comment box below. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so, as it will really help me to grow my channel. And if we can hit 500 subscribers before the end of our 30 days, I'm going to extend the challenge out by another 5 days to bring you 5 more Disney characters 5 days in a row. If you guys would like to have your say on what movie we move on to in four days time, then pop into the Facebook group as there is a poll in there for you guys to choose which movie we move on to. Um, I have also popped on the poll which ones are kind of easy and which ones are hard, so that might make a difference when you're making your choice. Let's get cracking with Bumba! Okay guys, so we are going to take our dark brown that came straight out of the tube. The link is in the description if you want to check it out. And we are going to pop a little bit of red in there, just to make him a bit more of a ready brown shade. Once you've tested the colour and made sure you're happy with it, don't forget to add in your bit of water. And then we can get started. So we're going to start off by drawing in the triangle for his nose area. So you want this to be kind of around the centre point of the nail, but over to the left hand side a bit. I made the first one a little bit too far over towards the centre, so I'm just making it a little bit bigger. And I'm going to fill in that triangle. So that's where his nose is going to be. Now we are going to repaint over that in pink later on, but it does make it a little bit easier just to start off with it so you've got the centre point drawn in. Then you want to give him a little bump on the left hand side, just to signify his nose. And then we're going to start to paint in his eye area. So you want to come up at a little bit of an angle over his nose. And then a diagonal drag up. going to paint a little triangle on top of that for his eye area. The edge of that eye area should be in line with the edge of the nose. Then we're going to do a small curve that's going to be in between his two eyes and we're going to do another little triangle for the second eye. A little curve and drag it off the nail. Now I'm just going to make the nose area a little bit wider again, just because I feel because he's coming towards us, it just needs to be a little bit bigger for perspective. And then we're going to start to draw in the curve for his mouth. So you want to wrap that down and around to the left. We want it to stick out a little bit and we're going to curve that then back in towards his head. Then we're going to give him a big round loop all the way down towards the end of the nail. Curve it right in like a quarter of a moon. You can drag it right off the nail if it helps and then give him his little neckline and then you're going to fill that whole area in. to add in his ears. So we're going to give him almost like a teardrop shape over his head, over to the left side of his first eye, and the same on the right hand side. Then you want to let that dry. Then 
we're going to take our pink paint and we're going to outline his nose area again. So this is a really big triangle, leaning slightly to the left hand side. So you want your right hand line to be slightly longer. And you're going to fill that in. Once you're happy with his nose, we're going to take our black and we're going to start to outline the little folds on his nose to make him look a bit piggy. So we're literally just doing two little curves in, just to show off where his nose is. And then we're going to curve a little line upwards to show off the kind of point of his nose, the bit that sticks out. This will also separate our two eye areas. And then continue on with your black, you can start to outline the left hand side of his face. So we're literally just going to outline around the area that we painted with our brown. Cut the ear off, right up over the eye area, across the curve in between the two eyes, and then up and over the second eye. Then you can outline around the two ears. you can take your yellow paint and we're going to give him two triangles inside the little brown triangles that we drew and that's going to be for his eyes. Once his eyes are dry, you can outline them. And if you're feeling up to a little bit more of a challenge, instead of just drawing a triangle, the very bottom line of the triangle, draw it kind of curved upwards a little bit to make it look like he's smiling. Then underneath his eye, you want to give him a little curved line 
Again, just to show off that he's got nice big high cheeks and he's happy. Now, so we want to give him his tusks. So you can either use white for this, or if you want to make them a little bit more kind of ivory colored, then add a little tiny bit of yellow into your white, now a tiny little smidge, and give it a good mix together. So you want to draw a curved line and then swoosh it right the way around. And you don't want it to touch off the pink of his nose, but you want it to be just behind it. And you're going to fill that in. You want it to be nice and big. Right now it looks a little bit out of place, but once we draw in a smile in a second it won't. And you're going to do the same on the other side. Now the other one you want to kind of touch off the nose and disappear in behind it a little bit and touch off the little brown point that we drew on top of the nose area earlier on. And you want to fill that one in as well. might need to do two layers depending on how opaque your paint is. to his nose just because it's a little bit see-through ready purpley colour for his mouth, for like his tongue area. So I'm going to add a little bit of purple into my palette and I'm going to take a little bit of red and give it a good mix in. Don't forget to add your water. And just before we add in his tongue, we're going to outline his mouth area. So following this sticky outline that we drew earlier on, we're going to wrap down from his nose, wrap right around the sticky out bit, and curve all the way in, in line with the edge of his nose, so the edge of the right hand side of his nose, in a nice big round happy curve. quickly going to outline his neck and his chin area as well. So you want to tuck his neck area right down and I have it going right off the side of my nail and then a little curve down for his neck. Then I'm going to outline his nose. So the curve on the triangle on the left hand side is a little bit kind of sticky outy, a little bit more kind of sticky outy than the curve on the right hand side of his nose. And then we're going to outline the inside portion of his mouth. So you want to wrap all the way around, following the line that we drew earlier on from the sticky out bit, all the way up to the side of his tusk. At the top of his tusk, it's almost like you want his mouth to continue going. So we want to draw a little triangle up there. And you want to attach the nose to the tusk as well. So the tusk does come right down into his mouth. You don't want to overlap it. 
but you want him to have a really nice big smiley mouth. Then we're going to paint in his tongue. So we want it to have a really nice heart shape at the top. And then you want to follow the line that you've just painted for his mouth and fill it in. Just under the tusk and under his nose area. And then taking our purple, we're going to fill in the rest of the mouth area, including the little triangle up the top. Then we're going to go back to our black and we're going to outline his tusk. Now you do want to curve his tusk a little bit down into the white area just to show that it stands out. And then just wrap around the rest of what you've painted. Then you can just do a simple outline on the other tusk. Just following your line and attaching it to the nose. And then we can go back to the colour that we use for his tusk and we're going to draw him in a really big front toot on his bottom lip. Then taking the pinky purple that you made up for his tongue, you can give him his two little round nostrils on his nose and these are going to be egg shaped. Then take black on either your brush or a dotting tool and we're going to give him his little round pupils. And then with white on either a smaller dotting tool or the very tip of your brush you're going to give him a little bit of a reflection in both of his eyes. Then you can go back to your black again and we're going to outline his little tooth. And you can outline his tongue as well. We're going to give him a little bit of pink in the corner of his ear. We want to give him two more little creases just below his right hand eye, just to show off again that he's really happy and he's smiling. And then another little curve from his nose just out towards his tusk, just to show a bit of movement in his face. And then finally we want to move on to his hair. So his hair is literally just going to be little curves right down to the top of his head and filled in. They don't need to be perfect, doesn't matter what direction they go in, you just want it to look messy and scraggly.
and you want to fill in the area past his ear as well just to show that this hair does continue down there. And then that's it, he's done. So now you just need to wait for him to dry. Then you can top coat him to seal him in and cure him. So guys, that is it for Pumba. I hope you enjoyed them. Don't forget the step-by-step -step pictures will be in the Facebook group and the link is in the description if you would like to join us there. Tomorrow we are going to be moving on to Timon. And then after that we have Zazu and Rafiki to do and then that's it for The Lion King. So if you haven't already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye!